The planet Mars is a hot topic right now for scientists and movie fans. On Monday, NASA confirmed evidence of flowing water on Mars. The revelation left many wondering if life can exist on the red planet. Gail? The possibility of survival on Mars is explored. I'm so excited to see Ridley. is explored in Ridley Scott's new film, The Martian. It stars Matt Damon as an astronaut who finds himself stranded there after an accident. He and his crewmates try to evacuate during a sandstorm. Martinez, how long before takeoff? 12 minutes. Visibility is almost zero. Anyone gets lost, hone in my suit telemetry. You ready? Ready. Are you okay? I'm okay! Hey! We might be able to keep the man from tipping! Watch out! As you might imagine, it is not okay. Director and producer Ridley Scott is best known for his sci-fi classics like Alien, you remember that, and Blade Runner. He was honored with Academy Award nominations for directing films like Black Hawk Down and Gladiator. And Ridley Scott joins us at the table. Welcome, Sir Ridley Scott. It's good to see you. Good morning. So, you know, you. there's news that they found water on Mars. Are you thinking, if I had known that earlier, what I would have done with this movie? Well, I knew two months ago, because I get on very well with NASA. They told cause you. Because they love the book. Uh -huh. So I called them when I was going to decide to do the book. And they, they revealed the fact there's water up there, but they thought it was ice. But now there's, today, it's we hear water. that there's moving water. So yeah. you knew in advance, because you cooperated with NASA on this film. You asked them for help, right? Well, actually, they cooperated with me, thank God, because mm -hmm. we we're going to make it anyway. But they loved the book, uh -huh. and the book was a reader for NASA, and for the most part, it's pretty accurate. If you ever get marooned on Mars, you read the book, you, if you follow the instruction if, Ridley, if manual, you ever that's get it, you get off. on Mars. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you get off. They'll be there 2023, uh -huh. if they keep the funding going. Oh, NASA will be there 2023. They're in the 2020s, yeah. How long is, will it take them to get back? Well, you're nine months there, nine months back. So the journey, moon right now, moon shots five days. Right. So Mars is the last, stepping stone into deep space. So that's, I think that's why Mars has always become so romanticized and important. Beyond Mars, you've got to get into cryogenics or mm. deep coma mm -hmm. and light speed. The, so that's cinema, the cinematography, Ridley, in the movie was so beautiful. It was yeah. so beautifully shot. And when I look at Matt Damon, who's on screen for a long time by himself, mm -hmm. everything that could possibly go wrong goes wrong for this guy. It goes from bad mm -hmm. to worse. Yeah. What's it like when you're shooting with someone who's really acting all by themselves? And, not, um, and you don't make it boring. Well, you know, I spent five weeks just us together on a huge set in Budapest, which was Mars, and then that would join on to Wadi Romas in Jordan. Mm -hmm. And so Matt and I have a long conversation prior to that. You plan your, his emotional itinerary mm. and say, okay, this is going to be, shall we go for this? This is going to be emotional, justifiable. This is going to be anger. This is good. So you plot the, the way. And then I figured we should have what would constitute a black box inside the habitat, which would be 28 GoPros. So eventually you start talking to a 28 camera. GoPros, 28 yeah. GoPros wow. on the set. So everywhere you are, you talk to people. Yeah. Jeff Be cameras. Yeah, that's incredible. Jeff Bezos, uh, Elon Musk, yeah. Richard Branson, mm -hmm. all are creating companies to go to space. Yes. Would you like to go? Absolutely not. Why not? <laughs> I've just been. <laughs> making, a, get, making a movie you can, I get, is not, not going. Go go. Making a I, movie is not going. <laughs> well, I've been the 17th century, 18th I century. Know. You know. Um, no, but, I wouldn't really. No, I like it. It here. has no appeal to you. Not really. I like. I like. I like Earth. Yeah. I wish you'd take care of Earth. I, I like Charlie saying <laughs> making a movie. Ridley is not going. The writer of this book said that when he heard that you were going to direct it, he thought he was being punked. He thought it was a hoax. <laughs> so you read it. Why did you think this is something I want to do? You do aliens. Well, now you got the Martian. Andy's a real pistol. Um, he's funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's he's funny man. He's a geek, but he's very very smart, very very bright, and so he had really researched. This doing chapter by chapter, and what do you call it, web or email, mm -hmm. and people gradually got enthusiastic about it as each chapter came out, and he was about halfway through it, and then one day he got a call from Fox. He said he couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. He thought somebody was joking. All right. Mm -hmm. and if, then, you're, all right. Mm -hmm. if you're a great director today, and you are, uh, there's so many more opportunities to make films because of what's happened in television. Television 
is some of the best material out. I mean, I'm limiting, I'm not saying all television, but I think there's some wonderful television programming is happening and great emergence of great writers, because that's really what it's all about, it's about the writers. Mm. Once you get it on paper, it, making the movie for me is relatively straightforward and enjoyable. If you don't have it on paper, it's a nightmare. It all begins with the script. Yeah, yeah. repeat of the good wife, right. too. Yeah. All right, exactly Ridley right. Scott. Ridley right. Scott, wonderful to have you here. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I had British Prime Minister David Cameron right here in Studio 57 after your local news.